Hello Cleveland. Guess the places that I've been. I think readers are an individual, unique, no matter where they come from, where where they live. Each one is their own person, you know. Of course, they have a different background because they grew up either in Germany or, you know, in England or wherever. So they have a different point of reference. But you know, passion is passion. That doesn't have a language. If you love something and you're coming to visit because we can share that passion. I, I think that that's sort of the international language, you know. Oh, uh, well, anyone who has seen Tara, Witch of the Black Rose. <laughs> um, I, you know, I had the idea for Tarot a very long time before I met Holly, and uh, when I did meet her back in uh, the, the late '90s, uh, and I my run on Catwoman was coming to an end, uh, I had this character in mind, and although I had a, a good image for her, it wasn't until I, I met Holly and became friends with her that uh, I started to. In, the character sort of was influenced by her look with the, the bright red hair and uh, her strong personality and her willing to stand up for right. And uh, and, I, and I also incorporate in, in my stories a lot of the friends that I meet. Uh, you know, people at, in this table here have, uh, Stefan has appeared as in my character, Alex has appeared as one of the characters in the book. Uh, so a lot of the, the people I meet on the road or, or just in everyday life influence the characters. And I, I sort of try to make the, the character look like them or have aspects of them. So yes, she was the, the muse uh, for Taro in, in, in some respect, yes. You know, it varies depending on the storyline. I, I like Raven Hex. Uh, she's the sister of Taro. She follows a more a darker path with her witchcraft. I like Taro too, uh, because uh, she's almost like an, in an innocent. Uh, and she has this sort of innocent way of looking at situations, of trying to make things right when sometimes there isn't a right and wrong answer. Uh, I like the Skeleton Man because he is sort of kind of based off of me. Uh, I was a cemetery worker, a, a graveyard uh, attendant, uh, a grave digger. So I don't have just one character that I love. Yes, good question, because when the time came where I had to start Broadsword Comics, I had a list of, I think, four series that I wanted to launch. But because of the amount of money that it takes to put out one comic book, and I knew that once I started something, I'm not just going to do four issues and I'm out. I, I grew up in a time where, you know, you start a comic book from issue one, you never had another number one. You just kept going. And, you know, issue 116 of whatever Spider-Man or Batman, the numbers didn't really matter to me back then. It was just the continuing storyline. So I knew when I started Broadsword, I wanted my first comic book to just be an ongoing series. So I couldn't have several other mini series. Uh, so yes, I had like three or four different ideas. Uh, Tarot was one that I thought I wanted to uh, launch Broadsword Comics with. Give me my dreams. 